Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I welcome you to this evening's worship service in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Once again, I thank the church authorities, the President Prasun Kumar Garu, Secretary Vinod Kumar and the Treasurer uh, Daniel Jason and the Secretary of the Board, Ashratnam and all the executive members for giving us this opportunity to preach. And also I thank all the congregation members for their continuous support during this time of the pandemic uh, situation around the country. So once again, a warm welcome to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I and also my colleague, Reverend Moses Kumar, greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The first Sunday after the Easter, so friends, uh, the coming weeks I would like to bring forth before you the 11, the post appearances of Jesus after the resurrection. The post appearances of Jesus after the resurrection. So uh, now and then we will be uh, meditating on Jesus' appearing to his disciples. After the resurrection, Jesus was on this earth for nearly 40 days before he has ascended into heaven as it is found in the gospel according to St. Luke, uh, gospel, uh, in the book of Acts chapter 2. So before Jesus' ascension into the heaven, he was with his people and he, he lived on this earth for 40 days and he has ap appeared to his disciples or to the people who believed or who were following with him. So 11 appearances of Jesus. So during the coming weeks, most probably we will be meditating on Jesus' post-resurrection appearances. So, the scripture portion for this meditation has been taken from the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 30, uh, chapter 13, uh, chapter 24 verses 13 to 25. I repeat, the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35. Let me read it for you, few verses. The walk to Amos. Now, on the same day, two of them were going to a village called Amos, about seven miles from Jerusalem. So, as we read, here we see two of the disciples, two of the people or two of the followers of Jesus Christ. So, one was, one was Cleopas and the other name was not written. Most probably, these are the followers of Jesus. Uh, who are there in the upper room during the time of the Passover festival and these two are not the disciples as it is mentioned they are not among the twelve or the one uh, or among the eleven so these two are the followers of Jesus so as we read there is a lot there is a passage which talks about the experiences on the on the way to Amos so this evening's reflection has been titled as the Christian life is a faith journey. Christian life is a faith journey. As we are in the pandemic situation and we see people, the situation around the world is becoming worse day by day. But we as a Christians, as the called out community or as the followers of Jesus Christ, this passage speaks to us very nicely. This passage is guiding us. As we read, so this evening's the reflection has been titled as Christian life is a faith journey. So the first, during the faith journey or having life in Christ as a faith journey, the first thing that we should have in our life. As we read, the meaning of the word Amos means, the meaning of the word Amos is warm spring, warm spring. And Amos is nearly 12 kilometers to Jerusalem. It is 12 kilometers away to Jerusalem. As we see, the two of the people, two of the followers of have been mentioned here in the gospel by Luke. And one was Cleophas and the other one's name was not mentioned by the gospel writer. Cleophas was the brother of Joseph, the father of Jesus. So he is uh, the uncle of Jesus. Cleophas was the uncle of Jesus. And the history says that Cleophas died as a martyr 
in the year 72 on the 10th November. Cleopas died as a martyr on 10th November in the year 72. So, as we read or as we meditate, let us see what should, what are the important things that we should have in the Christian life as if you know, when we have our faith journey. First thing in our faith journey, we should walk with the Lord. We should walk with the Lord. Verses 16 and 17. As we read, as we read the gospel, verses 16 and 17, we see that, we see that they were, 16 and 17 talks about the, while they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. So, while the two disciples were walking, because they were running away for life, because the situation that happened at Jerusalem made them put into trouble. So, they were very much troubled. So, they wanted to stay indoors. They wanted to, they wanted to stay safe. So, they were running to uh, Amos. So, while they were walking and going, Jesus came and walked with them. But the Bible says that the scripture says that they were unable to recognize who was walking with them or they were unable to recognize Jesus. So friends, in our life journey, the first thing is that although we are unable to recognize the Lord, but Lord is always or our God Jesus is always walking with us. So the first, the first important aspect we should have in the faith journey is walking with the Lord. We should walk with the Lord. So, these two people, although they were walking, they were talking, Jesus himself came and walked with them. The same day, the resurrection Sunday, the, on the Easter day, Jesus came and walked with them. Secondly, we see that the second important thing is that in our faith journey, we should read the scriptures. The first one is walking with the Lord, walking with Jesus. The second one is that reading or expounding the scriptures. These two disciples and uh, from verses 25 to 27, we see that Jesus walked with them and Jesus was talking to them about the scriptures. These two people were discussing about the scriptures from the Old Testament about the Lord Jesus Christ, how he is going to come into this world, how he is going to die, how he is going to lay his life for the sinners. And also they have quoted many Old, Old Testament scriptures, the prophecies. And Jesus he himself came and said that he revealed to them that what the scripture says. So, secondly, the first thing is walking with the Lord. The second one is expounding the scriptures. In our faith journey, we should expound the scriptures. We should be well versed with the scriptures, not just reading the scriptures, but knowing the scriptures to our hearts. These two people, these two young, young men were talking, they were walking, as well as they are not simply wasting their time, but they are talking and they are talking about the scriptures with the Jesus. And suddenly Jesus said that, uh, Jesus said that the, the scriptures are talking about him. So that is the second thing in our faith journey. Firstly, we should walk with Jesus. Secondly, we should expound the scriptures. Expounding the scriptures is very, very important for us in, the, in our life. So we should know the scriptures, not only knowing the scriptures, we should know who is there in the scriptures. We should get by heart or we should use the scriptures for our life. And Jesus, he himself said that you people, you are unable to recognize or you, know, you are unable to understand what the scriptures have said about me. But so Jesus said that it is the one who is mentioned in the scripture is me. The third thing that we should have in our faith journey is having the fellowship. Having the having the fellowship. Verses 28 to 30, we see that while they, they were walking, 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 talking about the scriptures, talking about all the things that happened for the last three to four days or past one week in Jerusalem. And while they were walking, the, the land Emos came or the place Emos came. So 
it was night and these two people asked Jesus to come and stay with them. So they asked, they have invited Jesus into their house. So as we read, while they were about, while they were about to eat, and they were about to eat, Jesus took the bread, he offered thanks. When he offered thanks, he gave it to them and then their eyes were opened. So the third thing that in our faith journey, we should have the communion with God, the fellowship. Communion means fellowship, having communion means knitting with God. So in our life, the important thing in our faith journey is we should have fellowship with God. So when the, when the bread was broken and given to them, their eyes were opened. Their eyes were opened and they had the fellowship. They understood what is God. They understood what is the importance of the fellowship, the communion. And what, what does the meaning of communion means? Partaking in the Lord's table is partaking in the suffering of Jesus Christ. So in our faith journey, we should partake in the suffering of our Lord. So we, this is the pandemic situation. The pandemic situation is the suffering. And we should work, we should ask God to, God help us to overcome this suffering. Lord help us to overcome this suffering. So the third thing is that they have partaken in the communion. And finally, and when Jesus disappeared, they were very much frightened. So immediately they did not stay back in or they did not stay in Amos. They immediately returned back to Jerusalem. And we see in the in verse 35, they started to witness about God. They started to witness about Christ. They started to witness about the Jesus saying that they came back to Jerusalem to the upper room. And they told that they had experienced God on their way to Amos. So the fourth important thing is witnessing for Christ. We should witness for Christ. That is what it is recorded in verse 35. They came back to Jerusalem and they have witnessed to the other fellow disciples that they have seen Jesus on the way to Amos. So the fourth important thing in our life is that we should stand as a witness. That is why that is why in the book of Acts it is written when the Holy Spirit comes you shall be my witness in all Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the ends of the world. Jesus said give be as a living witness. So we are called to witness God. In this world we are called by our life, by our action, by our character, by our attitude we have to witness God. So the fourth important thing is that we have to witness for Christ. So the four important aspects in our faith journey is walking with the Lord. The second one is expounding the scriptures. We should, we should get knowledge or we should be equipped with the scriptures. The third thing is that participation in the communion, which means participation in the fellowship of God. And finally, witnessing for Christ. We should witness Christ. Witnessing means not standing there in the marketplaces or giving lectures or uh, saying that uh, what, whatever is that. No, we should be as a living witness. So these four important things are very much important for us in our faith journey. So this is the one of the appearances of Jesus after the resurrection, after the post-resurrection appearances, among the 11 appearances, the first appearance that Jesus gave was not to his disciples, but the people who were with them, with him in the upper room. So our faith journey, in our faith journey, as we continue in this world, as the called out community, or as we continue in this world as the Christians, we should witness God by our, by walking, by reading the scriptures, by participating in the communion and by witnessing for Christ. May the Lord add his blessings to the listening and understanding of this holy word. I also thank for all the friends, those who are watching this uh, telecast or watching this uh, video. Be blessed. May God bless you and your families. Let us pray. God, we thank you and praise you for the time that you have given to us as we have meditated upon the post-resurrection appearing of Jesus to his followers. As we have meditated on the way to Amos, Lord bless us, guide us and lead us. Lord bless each and every one, those who are watching them. May this word inspire them. May the word comfort them. We ask this prayer in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the comforting guidance of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. 
Amen.